Vince here. Within a company setup, library structures may have many parts to it, meaning folders containing various elements that make up a design flow. In a typical library, you may find individual folders for elements such as board file templates, mechanical symbols, pad stacks, schematic parts, scripts, step models, and symbols. Some companies may have local, regional, or even global library files maintained by librarians or by individuals. For the purpose of this video, we will assume your company has already determined the types of library folders that make up your design flow. The following are brief descriptions of folders found in a typical library. Board file templates is self-explanatory and was discussed in the previous chapter on board outlines. Mechanical symbols are PCB board footprints that don't require an electrical connection, such as unplated mounting holes, company logos, and standard notes. As the name implies, the pad stacks folder contains all of the previously created and saved pad stacks that are used by the PCB symbols. Unlike some competitors, Cadence uses saved pad stacks as part of the footprint creation process. This approach saves time and improves quality. The schematic parts folder contains the schematic symbols used in the creation of the schematic. A script folder contains files created and used to recall or automate repetitive routines. These files can be assigned to unused keyboard function keys. Cadence uses the internally developed skill language as a means for you to make Cadence do things that we never envisioned. Files written in skill have the .il extension. Information on skill can be found on the Cadence website or by doing a search on the internet. The step folder contains 3D step models that you can associate with PCB footprints to make 3D viewing of your design very realistic. And finally, the symbol folder contains the PCB footprints that will make up your PCB design. Once you have your library folders set up, the next step is to add their paths to your Cadence setup so that you can access all of these various elements in your design flow. Simply go to Setup, User Preferences, click on the plus to the left of Paths. The majority of the path entries will be made in the library folder, but we highly recommend that you explore the other folders to see if any other paths pertain to your setup. To add a library folder, simply click on the three dots button under Value, and when the path pop-up appears, Click on the new insert button and point to the directory folder that contains the library element suitable for that path. Repeat as needed for all other library folders. Libraries in Cadence are that easy.